do atheists believe in God after all? Strange question, but I recently discovered the results of a study that reveals something very interesting about atheists. The study took place in Finland and was published in the International Journal for the Psychology of Religion under the title Atheists Become Emotionally Aroused When Daring God to Do Terrible Things. Researchers connected both religious folk and self-described atheists to machines that measure perspiration. And as we know, increased sweating is a sign that someone is becoming more anxious uh, and nervous. It's the basis for lie detector tests. The test subjects were then asked to make statements like, I wish my parents would drown and I dare God to drown my parents. Before uh, I go on, what do you think would, how would atheists respond to, uh, you know, un under test conditions, uh, asking them to state, I dare God to drown my parents, and then I wish my parents would drown? Uh, you know, would there be a difference for atheists? What, what do you think? Okay, well, here's what the, uh, the scientific uh, research demonstrated. Oh, after all, by the way, if there's no God, then wishing for something bad to happen and asking God to do it amounts to the same thing. There's nothing there to ask, is there? There should be no anxiety, no nervousness at all. A quote from the report here, and you can read it for yourself online if you go to the link. According to the skin conductance tests, that's what they call them, the atheists found asking God to harm them or others to be just as upsetting as the religious folks did. Isn't that amazing? I'll come to why this might be in a minute. Just to uh, finish off the uh, paragraph I'm reading from, from the report, the researchers also compared the reactions of atheists when making statements like, I wish my parents were paralyzed and I dare God to paralyze my parents. Atheists were, like believers, more bothered by the latter statement about God paralyzing parents if you believe the skin conductance tests, even though both declarations would be, in theory, equally empty if there were no heavenly overseer. So uh, there we are. Now, just like religious people, it seems, atheists became more distraught and nervous when asking God to do something bad. Now, why would that be? Well, the, the author of the report doesn't say why, but uh, from a Muslim point of view, at least, the idea of, of this happening is entirely understandable because human beings are hardwired to believe in the divine, something called the fitra. The Quran talks about this instinctive awareness that, that's part of our species, our human species, to uh, look to the transcendent, to look to God. And so even though intellectually, uh, I would imagine one may come to disbelieve in God, still the heart, the, the deep inner core, the self of the human being uh, reacts in the same way. You can't, you can't wipe it out from the human uh, condition, it seems. Even if one believes in atheism, one is still instinctively re reacting as a theist. It's quite extraordinary. So, but I don't think it's fair to say that every atheist secretly believes God exists you know, believes in their head and just pretends to be an atheist in order to get attention. Um, I do think it's fair to say that tests like these show that most atheists do not think God is a delusion, as Richard Dawkins argued in his famous book, The God Delusion. Uh, delusions are obviously silly beliefs that are easily refutable by evidence. If God were a delusion, then no one should really fear him drowning his parents any more than one would fear Santa Claus drowning his parents. Unfortunately, the authors of this study didn't uh, ask the participants to dare a known false belief like Santa Claus to do something bad to a loved one. But I think one can guess the outcome. You know, if, if I ask the flying spaghetti monster uh, to harm someone, I, it's just going to be meaningless. I, it's not going to have any traction with me. I'm not going to feel secretly this is uh, a flying spaghetti monster is going to do anything because patently it's a, a, a fiction. But God, the concept of a transcendent divine being, uh, is clearly, as I've, I've already said, uh, hardwired. It's in our DNA as a species, it seems, and this seems to be excellent evidence of this, and, and indirectly is a confirmation of the Quran, of course, that see 
uh, us as uh, creatures made by God and made to worship our Creator instinctively.